I'll just do a thrift haul for you now. <laughs> um, and so yeah, I ended up going to four different thrift stores, bought stuff at three. Um, and of course I, despite my goal of not purchasing crap I didn't need, I definitely purchased crap I did not need. <laughs> of course, like just, of course. So I, from, from that first thrift store, I got that, um, I got this book, this kind of vintage book, uh, and Crafts for All Seasons, um, 1980 is the last copyright date on this, and I just thought it was cute. Um, the illustrations are really fun, it's all in red, which is interesting, it's just really cute. So I'm going to check this out, um, and it was cheap, it was $1.50. I picked up three vintage Corel plates that I definitely didn't need. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably use them in my craft room. I often will use plates or stuff that I can wash afterwards for some things, like sorting or whatever, I don't know, like trays and stuff. And then I also, at that thrift store, ended up getting a really pretty set earring and necklace set. I don't know how cute it's going to show up on camera. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know. It's just sparkly and they're, they're really pretty little things with matching earrings. I thought it'd be fun. Um, so yeah, that was good. The next one I went to, I did really well at. I, um, I feel like every time I go in there, I find something like I'm super excited about. So I got this train case um, for, it's at marked 350, it was half off this price. Um, the inside needs a little bit of work, but it's in pretty great shape other than that. I'm just gonna rip out the inside because it's, it's just not in great shape. Um, and see what I can do. Um, these, I really love the size of these train cases for things like notions and whatever crafting supplies. Um, I have two other ones, one that holds my embroidery, one that holds Velcro and elastic and zippers and what have you. And now I have a third one. I might, um, put my hot glue supplies in this because right now that's in a different type of thing that isn't as cute. So. Um, also there I got, whoop, um, I got some clothes for myself. I got this, um, cute button up for myself. Um, I think that was $2. I got this for $2. I think this is H&M. Um, it's like a sweater-ish type deal. It's super cute. It has like a metal zipper in the back really fun so this was two dollars my size and then I also got some school pants for my oldest who keeps wearing out the knees in his pants partly because I get him used so some other kid wears out the knees in his pants but you can't see it so much and then he busts through them so um and then the thing I got there that I was super duper duper excited about is I got this is actually my second wedding dress I've gotten from this store I got a gigantic wedding dress for six dollars um, it was marked down to 12 because the zipper in it is busted and then it was half off that price because of its color so that was pretty cool it, it's a lot of fabric it's acrylic or not acrylic isn't the term it's synthetic in all its glory. I'm pretty sure early 90s, I think it's a handmade dress because of just inside the way the seams looked and just there wasn't a tag for size or anything like that. Um, and just how cheap the fabric is. I, I, I think it was a handmade dress, which is really charming to me. Um, so this has like a, I'll try and do, has a gigantic, that is not not detachable like 
in trains that you would buy at the store. It's just a super long one piece train attached to the dress. Like it's, it's, I don't know how this person wore it. It might, maybe it bustles up. I haven't investigated fully. It has um, this kind of plasticky bead, beaded pearl trim along all edges. Um, and some of the pearls have completely gone down to plastic at this point. Um, and like I said, the back, the zipper in the back is busted. There are all of these buttons um, that hold it in place. But overall, I, I mean, I think it was really a beautiful dress when it was, went down the aisle in the first place. It's just a little bit sad at this point. It's kind of like a, I guess I don't know the time period, medieval-esque shape body shape, I would say, maybe, um, in some ways. I don't know. I don't know anything about historic fashion at all. Nothing. Um, but it's just a, also just a crazy amount of fabric. So I'm excited to play with that and see what I can do. I don't know. I just, I think it's fun. Um, it is like this kind of patterned, satiny, almost like, it makes me think of a tablecloth. Um, so I'm really sorry whoever's wedding dress this was. I'm not trying to roast it. I really think it was a beautiful thing in its time, right? So, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to see, we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, moving on. So that was at that thrift store. Exciting stuff. Very exciting. All right. And then... I went to a Salvation Army. I ended up not getting anything there. Um, I was mainly just ran in to see if there was the perfect chair. There wasn't. I ran out. I didn't let myself look around there. I'm starting to get a bit tired. It happens. Um, and then the fourth one I went into, which I don't even really know the name of. It was like Thrift Center. And I, I've only been in there a couple of times. But I found the perfect chair, which I am currently sitting in. Um, I've already kind of vacuumed it and cleaned it up a bit. It's upholstered, it's comfortable. It is a Lazy Boy swivel chair. <laughs> I've sat in my share of these throughout the years. Um, it's perfect for this space. It's just terrific. It's a really kind of a mauvey brown color. Not my favorite, but it's not horrible at all. Like, it's great. For what I paid for it, especially I paid 10 bucks for this chair and it's very comfortable. And it swivels, it's just, it's a good thing. I'm excited. And it doesn't smell, because that's the thing about upholstery, um, secondhand. It's like, were, were the previous people smokers? Or did they have a cat that really smelled, or a dog that really smelled that was on the chair all the time? So, yeah, I was pretty happy with the condition, and the price was excellent. And so, and the, it's really, the foam and everything is, seems to be in pretty great shape. Especially since I'm going to be the only main person using this, my kids are not going to be on this chair that much. They are not going to be in here that much. Fingers crossed. And um, so I think it will hold up pretty well. So, okay. But then also at that thrift store, I, you know, I got more fabric. I got, this is one of my favorite shades of purple right here. Um, I have a lot of fabric already. Like right now you can only see one shelf. The shelf right next to this is also completely filled with fabric. I have a ridiculous amount of fabric, but I, I use this color a lot and I always run out of this color. And this actually seems to be like a decent, um, like an actual decent quilting cotton that I got for three bucks. So that was good. Um, I got cookie cutters, plastic cookie cutters, um, for three bucks for crafting and whatever square biscuit cutters around. There's, this is a really big set for this price. Um, and some shapes I don't have. I mean, I have some of these shapes, but I don't have all these shapes. And plastic is nice. My kids can mess around with these. And for this price, it won't make that big a difference. And then also I got there um, a pair of earrings that are just gold. They're kind of daisies. They're nice. I, I mean, I don't always buy it. I actually rarely buy jewelry, but both times I've told you guys I have. So that's interesting. No, I don't know what I'm doing. It's my, my life story. So anyway, 